What's going on guys? Out here again today with the Traxxas Rustler. No changes made since you last seen it. But we are out here at a new place. Some possibilities for some jumps around here. Uh, I don't think anything crazy, but hey, any air is good air, right? Nothing there. But anyway, we got a large open field. And some definite possibilities. There's this one little, well, two little ditches right here. One of which we definitely get a little launch off of, but I'm afraid to hit it hard because landings on that have sucked. See? Little ditch. Tiny. But, this is the best looking place we've been to so far. More possibilities than anywhere, but also longer grass than anywhere. Hopefully the longer grass won't build up too much heat, but I suppose there's only one way to find out now, isn't there? Over here, if this tree root wasn't here, uh, this tree wasn't here. This would be a nice, perfect launch. But maybe, just maybe, if I ever get a crawler, that'd be a nice crawler spot. Well, that was a nice little tumble wumble. We do have some baseball diamonds here that have some slight ridges on them. We could probably cut some air off of, but I don't know that I really want to go playing around in that sort of dirt because they got some really loose dirt on these diamonds. Ah. Also, quite a different type of grass than we have at the other place. So we get a little more traction roll going on here. Couldn't save it. Okay. So, I haven't really wandered around too much on this day, but still some other possibilities we could look at. So far, I don't see anything really to jump off of. At least nothing to land reliably. Well, that's going downhill. 
That ain't gonna work. Coming up hill ain't gonna work there either. Definitely a nice place to run, but only if we want flat ground. If we want any sort of air, not really gonna happen here, I don't think. Possibly up there. Maybe some backflips off the fence. But I don't think anything too crazy. Maybe going up there, landing on the concrete. We got some kids over there today, so I don't want to bother with them too much. With the stock tires and the stock motor and ESC in here, we would have been overheated many times by now. Many, many times. Um, these tires definitely raise the ride height, and the motor and ESC definitely give it the power to push through without overheating, or without getting too hot to run, I should say. So I'm sure we're getting pretty warm right about now. Take a second to check out the temperatures. All right, we had it up to about 147, um, which driving it like this, I'm going as fast as I can possibly go without flipping her over. It's not full throttle, say about three quarters throttle, um, and she's only hitting about 147. I say only because the Trax's stock system would have overheated at least three times by now. So. We've almost gone through a full battery. It was at about 10.6 volts when I last checked. Uh, so, almost a full battery, 147 degrees. I'll take that all day, because that just means that I can run this car all day. Well, at least for a full battery pack. Let it cool down, run up another full one. But I think that was low voltage cutoff. We're gonna go get her and we'll be right back. Okay. So we found a possible little jump here. It might be just as good as the one in the other location. We're about to find out. It's all about how the car is going to land when it hits it. Let's see. Hey. We'll give it a couple shots off of here. Okay, well, this jump is good and bad. Oh, 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 hey, we're on our feet. Uh, it's good because we get a nice soft takeoff and a nice soft landing. It's bad because the lead up to it is this horrendous dirt that is just terrible for this car. Oh, hey, what did we do there? Oh, we bent the crap out of it. That's what we did there. And I was just saying in the last video how this body was so tough. Well, I suppose we've destroyed our first one. Very nice. So yeah, I think we'll stay away from that for now. Oh, oh look at that body. It's terrible. This way. This way. Oh, pardon my language. Oh yeah, 
she cracked through right there. Ah, that's okay. She'll live to fight another day. Definitely feels like we're pulling a little bit, but I don't see any damage to the actual car. Only the body. So let's go ahead and assume that all is well. All right, only at 132, so we are well within reason. I think going down there is really what causes the heat because down there the grass is much, much longer. Over here it's, I don't want to say well trimmed, but at least it's kept after. We're out here on a pretty overcast day. It says about a 10 to 15% chance of rain. That's not too bad. Even if we do get caught out in the rain, not too far from home. Uh, most of the stuff I got on me is waterproof or at least water resistant. So I think we'll be alright. I think the only thing that's not is the, uh, the remote. Oh, what's that noise? I think we got something caught. Oh yeah, got a little leaf in there. Let me get that out of there real quick. Be right back. Okay, so I don't know what that sound is. Maybe it's something in the gears? Maybe it's something flapping? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Alright guys, we're going to call it a day here. Um, something with that guy right in there. Um, the grub screw either is just wasn't tight enough or came loose or whatever, but we're not getting any traction. That thing's just starting to spin. Uh, I got the stuff on me to take care of it, but the battery's almost dead and uh, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to go out here in the field with these tools. So. I'm just going to take it home for now and uh, we'll fix it when we get in. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe.